And that's where we turn over now to our chief meteorologist, Dan Sianca in the Weather Center. Hey, Dan. Hey there, Austin. Yeah, a sunny day today in Marina. Some areas had clouds, but really it was a nice day around the Monterey Bay area itself. Lots of sunshine, dry conditions after a few light showers this morning across the region. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf this evening. Not much going on across the Monterey Bay area tonight. We do have a few low clouds on the east shore of the bay, mostly from Salinas north across Prunedale and Watsonville. And then we do also have some low clouds around Carmel Bay, but Monterey at the moment is actually fairly clear. As far as our temperatures are concerned, we're still pretty mild, mostly in the 60s around the bay. A few spots inland dipping into the 50s, especially up in the hills. Right now, for example, up on Loma Prieta, we're down to 51 degrees and also 50 degrees in Santa Rita Peak. So, you know, uh, during the summertime, it's often pretty warm above us, but right now we actually have a pretty deep trough of low pressure over the west coast and that's brought cooler than normal temperatures. Now with that said, it's been nice at the coast because we've been deep enough to mix our marine inversion out. So we're enjoying the nice, comfortable temperatures. May dip into the upper 50s overnight on the coast, but still expecting low temperatures to be above normal for this time of year, mostly because our water temperatures are above normal. Here's our water vapor picture. So here's the trough of low pressure. Thunderstorms all over the place in the Great Basin up into the Rockies again today. Um, but back to the west, we do have another area of low pressure kind of sneaking in along the flow. That will be kind of coming over us tomorrow. The deeper low, which is sitting here right here, will depart and thus we will actually see some warming in our atmosphere tomorrow. In fact, our air temperatures at about mountaintop will raise eight to 10 degrees tomorrow. So that's actually a significant warm up. Now, who is gonna see that warm up here on the central coast? Well, if you live in the mountains, you certainly will. And if you live in the inland valleys, especially farther away from the coast, you're gonna see that warm up. On the coast, it may be a different story because we're starting to push back down on the marine layer a little bit. That will stabilize it a bit. So let's watch future casts and talk about what the results will be. Overnight tonight, widespread low clouds. There'll probably be some patches in it as uh, we see uh, kind of a deep marine environment. Now, during the day tomorrow, we'll see clearing on the north side of the bay, but unlike today where we completely cleared out, on the coast anyway, I think we're gonna hold on to some low cloud cover on the south side of the bay. We have some stabilization of our marine layer and that northwesterly flow will push the clouds to the south side of the bay. On top of that, our onshore flow will be a little bit stronger tomorrow so folks on the coast will have a bit more of a sea breeze to deal with and of course those, that will push into our inland valleys now today we also had widespread cumulus develop over our hills a lot of puffy clouds right we may have a few of those tomorrow afternoon but not near the scope that we saw today so a little bit of a change tomorrow inland areas mountain areas are going to warm up five to ten degrees on the coast most areas will stay pretty close to today if not cooler especially on the south and east sides of the bay where we're more likely to see those clouds. So maybe not the best Labor Day on the peninsula tomorrow, but it'll still be pretty decent uh, as temperatures will be fairly mild, even with some clouds out there. Here are my forecast temperatures. We return to the 80s in Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond tomorrow, 70s elsewhere in the Santa Cruz Mountains, mid 70s down to Santa Cruz, Capitola staying in the 60s tomorrow. On the east shore of the bay, expecting 60s near the coast, starting to warm into the 70s in Wattsville, Salinas, mid 70s to San Juan, 80 in Hollister, a little bit warmer as you head up into the Santa Clara Valley. All of these locations had highs in the 70s today, so the 80s, you know, five to 10 degrees warmer, certainly. Monterey, a bit cooler tomorrow, 68 degrees as you're more likely to see some cloud cover. That's not to say you won't get a little sunshine. I do think you'll see some, especially on the east side of town in the afternoon hours, but over to the points of the peninsula, we're gonna stay in the mid 60s. Farther to the south, expecting highs in the 70s. Carmel Valley, Big Sur, most of the Salinas Valley hitting 80 by King City. No 90s out there, but we may get there eventually this week. I think the next couple of days, uh, we'll see temperatures somewhat comparable to what we have tomorrow. So here's a look at that seven day forecast. Your Labor Day, again, looking fairly seasonable, maybe just a touch cool for this time of year on the coast. As far as highs are concerned, the lows will be above normal, obviously. But for the next four or five days after that, it's a pretty similar weather pattern where we have northwest winds, which will be breezy at times, uh, clouds kind of hanging out on the south side of the bay, clearing on the north side of the bay each day. It does look like we are going to be a little warmer next weekend, though. Temperatures jump up about four degrees, four or five degrees or so. Inland areas also, temperatures a bit below normal for the next five days or so. We'll have wind in the valleys every afternoon, mostly sunny skies, but ultimately high pressure is going to build in next week and highs return to normal inland on Friday. It looks like they will be above for Saturday and Sunday. Back to you.